today, you two will be working together in an attempt to match politicians to their quotes. Oh, no. I hope you know stuff about politics. <laughs> My biggest enemy, legislation. Kate doesn't like working together. I mean, I like working together. It's pretty fun. This is your first quote. Change will not come if we wait for some other person or some other time. We are the ones we've been waiting for. We are the change that we seek. A. Bernie Sanders. Bill Clinton. C. Barack Obama. Okay, my first guess was Barack Obama, and now I'm starting to think it might be Bill Clinton. If I'm being honest with you, the only one I genuinely know anything about is Barack Obama. Barack Obama. He is a very wise man. I feel like Barack Obama would have said that because maybe he might think that change won't come. Barack Obama. It's because he's wise and he's a nice person. Deliberate and decide on one person. Barack Obama? He's just... I don't think he would speak like that. <laughs> we both would know, obviously, Bill Clinton and Barack Obama, but also, like, Bernie Sanders. It's like, who the hell is Bernie Sanders? <laughs> Bill Clinton. Clinton. Barack Obama. <laughs> The answer is Barack Obama. Dang it, I'm sorry. That was right. That was my first choice. That was Barack. Barack Obama. Yes. Barack Obama was our 44th president. 44th. Uh, before that, he was a U.S. senator for the state of Illinois. I should just want my first yeah, choice. Yeah, you should have went with it. Yeah. I didn't change the Constitution. The equality principle was there from the start. I just was an advocate for seeing its full real. Realization. Realization. A. Kamala Harris. Ruth Bader Ginsburg. C. Nancy Pel... Pel... Us. Pelosi. Pelosi. Okay, thank you. I don't even know anybody on this side. <laughs> I don't really know. Are all of them presidents? Isn't Nancy Pelosi a singer? So Kamala Harris is, I think, the vice president? My first guess is... Ruth Bader. Because both of them, I've I've heard about them, but I haven't like heard any of their quotes. Okay, I I'm, think it's Ruth Bader. Blah, 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 blah. I don't know. Ginsburg. Yeah, Ginsburg. My first pick was probably Nancy. <laughs> you, oh, you so you don't think Ruth Bader did? No. I feel like you guys are gonna kind of make us guess the long name one. So I'm gonna go with Harris. Nancy Pelosi. Three. Oh. Kamala <laughs> Harris. Harris. Kamala Harris. Harris. The answer is Ruth Bader Ginsburg, no! I'm sorry. I was right the first time. I should have I trusted I... you. I told you, <laughs> I knew I was right. Ruth Bader Ginsburg was a Supreme Court justice. In fact, she was the first Jewish woman to serve on the court. Like, oh. kind of like Judge Judy. If we lose one more time, I am flipping this table. You dislike the emancipation per Proclamation. Proclamation. Proclamation, thank you. And perhaps would we'll have it retracted. You say it is unconstitutional. I think differently. Theodore Roosevelt, George Washington, or Abraham Lincoln? I feel like I would notice because Theodore and the Rough Riders. If it was him, you would be like more of a war blow. Like a like like pep a talk. George Washington would say something like this because I feel like George was like. Different. Abraham Lincoln was really laid back, I feel like. You're right about Abraham being very laid back. So George Washington would be the obvious choice. Abraham would not use those fancy words. Let's just say it's either George Washington or Abraham Lincoln. So it's probably George. Yeah. George, George Washington. George. George Washington. George, George Washington. Washington. The answer is Abraham Lincoln. What? Ah! Hey, 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 table down, table down. Abraham Lincoln. Oh, no, no. What? Abraham Lincoln is credited with the Emancipation Proclamation, which is the deal that uh, freed the slaves. Oh, now I get why it's Abraham Lincoln now. Yeah, I didn't think it was going to be this hard. I mean, I've got one right, but she, we did it together because she doesn't know what to listen to me. The only thing that stops a bad guy with a nuke is a good guy with a nuke. A nuke? A What's a nuke? A, Sarah Palin. B, Mike Huckabee. C, Henry Kissinger. No, I have no idea. Uh, I'm going with Mike. Huckabee. Cause I feel like 
I just have a very good feeling about my Kanka bean. I think Sarah, because if she says a good guy, she, that means she wants a good guy for like for a relationship. And like she was a good girl with like a nuke. A good guy. <laughs> we have to choose the one we least expect. Which is just Henry! We both said the complete opposite. Henry! Henry! Nuke would be kiss. <laughs> Kissing nuke. No, oh. it's like, no. <laughs> I think my cuckoo bean because I, I just don't know because one of the boys, I feel like would say it. <laughs> Henry Kissinger. Yes. Sarah, Sarah. Palin. My, my cuckoo bean. bean. The answer is Sarah Palin. Let's go. Oh, okay, you're right. I told you. I felt like it was like more like a war, like someone was like in the war. Sarah Palin is a former governor of Alaska and former Republican vice presidential nominee alongside John McCain in 2008. Right before I was born. Also, she looks like Rachel from Glee. <laughs> Despite the constant negative press, convehe. Con, 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 fifi. Confifi. A, Joe Biden, B, Donald Trump, and oh. C, Ted Cruz. Joe Biden is right now our president, right? I feel like Ted Cruz may be more on the negative side than Donald Trump and Joe Biden, so I go with Ted Cruz. I feel like it's Ted Cruz. I feel like it's Donald. Joe Biden is way too smart to say that. Ted um, plus Cruz he's new, so I don't is really a maybe. I okay. feel like it's Ted Cruz yeah, me because too. I would have already seen if Joe Biden or Donald Trump said that. I don't know what coffee means. Honestly, I'm thinking the same thing because I don't think Ted Cruz would say that and Joe Biden. No, it doesn't sound like something he would say. This doesn't make sense to me. So, what president does that says something does that doesn't make any sense to me is Donald Trump. Three, two, one. Ted, Ted Cruz. <laughs> Ted, Ted Cruz. <laughs> Donald, Donald Trump. Trump. The answer is Donald Trump. Oh my what? God! What? 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 Trump. I knew okay. it. I knew it. He doesn't okay. make any sense. <laughs> you both looked a little confused when you saw the word "cafefe." Cafefe is actually not a real word. Uh, a made up word? That is actually a famous late night tweet from Trump where still today people wonder what he actually meant to say. Maybe you should go ask him. You were why he doesn't say If Kafefe wasn't at the end, then then I probably would have got it wrong. I believe that every American should have stand stable. Stable, dignified housing, health care, education that the most very basic needs to sustain modern life should be gar guaranteed in moral society. Alexandra Ocasa Cortez. Ilhan Omar. C. Gavin Newsom. Gavin. <laughs> Gavin. What kind of name is that? <laughs> I feel like it's Cortez, but also I know someone named Omar. And he would definitely not say that. I've never heard any of them except Gavin Newsom. I feel like I heard that name before, but I feel like I heard a different person that would name that. Alexander Ocasio. Ocasio. Cornsy. I'm just jesting. I don't feel just, like je guessing. Jesting. <laughs> I don't think any of them are presidents except Alexander. Is she a president? There was no girl president. Oh, yeah. Three, two, one. <laughs> Alexander Ocasio Cortez says. Cortez. Cortez. Alexandra. The answer is AOC. Yes. It is Alexandria. I knew it, oh. I knew it. Yes, we got it right! Yes! <laughs> I never wanted to be a career politician. I always am interested just to take on challenges that everyone says are impossible to do and to take it on. A, Andrew Como. B, Pete Buttigieg. C, Arnold Sejwazger. <laughs> the only person here that I've heard of is Arnold. And I'm trying to think on who could be a career politician. Arnold Schwarzenegger is an actor. He yes. does not have time for politics. This is, I never wanted to be a career politician. That means they probably didn't want their place in life that they are right now. And they wanted to have a normal. So if I think hard enough into this, I would go with Pete, but I only know Arnold, so I go with Arnold. I <laughs> feel like it's gonna be Pete, uh, B, Pete, Pete Bukichi. My first choice was Arnold, so we should probably go with yeah. Arnold. Okay. Okay. Arnold. Arnold. Pete Bukichi. Pete Bukichi.
The answer is Arnold Schwarzenegger. I'm so smart. I'm so smart. I'm so smart. Arnold Schwarzenegger. What? <laughs> no. Yeah. Hey, hey, chill, chill, chill. Arnold Schwarzenegger is actually a huge Hollywood actor. I knew that. Oh my god. I was However, he just so happened to be the former governor of California. <gasps> is it governor? I knew I should have went for like the Schwarzenegger because I've heard of the last name before. Women are the largest unt untapped reser. Reserve. Reservoir. Reservoir of talent in the world. A. Jane Swift. B. Hillary Clinton. C. Kanjanji Brown Jackson. Do you recognize any of these people? Either no. of you? No. no. Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton. Because I feel like I actually have heard this quote before. I feel like it's Jane Swift. Because I've never heard of any of these people, so I don't know. If Kanji Brown Jackson. If that was a boy, then I would have picked that, because I feel like a boy, they would start talking about how girls and that stuff, and how they should be unharmed and that stuff. But now that I don't know, I don't know who Jane Swift is, so I'm just gonna guess Hillary Clinton. So I guess we're going with Hillary Clinton? Three, Three two, two, one. Hillary Clinton! Clinton! Hillary Clinton! Clinton. Hillary, Clinton. Clinton. Hillary Clinton! Yes! Yes! Yay! Yay! I'm, I am in so much shock. How do you feel, better or worse than you thought you'd do? I feel like I did better than I thought. Honestly, better than I thought we would do because I took the moral role of politics. I think I did worse. He knows more than I do, so I feel like he would do it all, but I feel like I did pretty good. I honestly thought we would at least get a three. At least Two is better than nothing, man. Thanks for watching this episode. How well did you do in this match game? Let us know in the comments. Subscribe down below for more Kids React content. Bye! Was Theodore Roosevelt, um, was she a president? She. I mean, <laughs> I mean, was, was he, he a president? Was he uh, a president? Yes.